Good morning, Night City. Welcome, everybody, back to the game. We are going straight into where we left off last episode, picking up Judy's mission. Double life. Let's go. All right, roll it. Data was in pretty rough shape. Not all that editable. Huh. Glad you managed to salvage them in the first place. Needs a second to load. This is Quality's not lousy, gonna be. Like yeah, of course it did. Quality doesn't have to be spectacular, as long as we can hear what something. What am I looking out for? Every single piece of tech I see, security. We need a layout of the whole room. Take a look around if you want. Hmm. I think I recognize these. What are they? Vive markings. You familiar with them? Not enough to know what they actually mean. Heard of who might use them, though. Who? Could be the Voodoo Boys, but that's just a hunch. Can't be 100% sure. The spine chilling Netrunner crew? Hard to find because they don't want to be. I wouldn't know where to start. Ah, but luckily for you, every does. single piece of tech I see, security. We need a layout of the whole room. We will get everything else we need from the virtue. What about his messages? Only if you can do it and be parfait, Bori. It's most important that he suspect nothing. Try to be your usual relaxed self. And if he starts talking about the biochip himself. Can't see your face. <sighs> Under normal circumstances, that kind of encryption's easy to crack. But not this time. Whoever she is, she's got serious net running skills. So we know we're up against the pro. That or someone's working it for her. Self? Let's go. Should I. Biochip? Will you hear this? That is not of interest to you. You spin the virtue, you come back here. We give you the eddies. That is your one job. Oh, that wasn't all of it. Ah, oh, it's the stuff at her feet, right? Might not be important. Maybe. All of them are from Pacifica. Now it's down our search, at least. Nice. What now? Looks like I'm going on a field trip to Pacifica. Should I... Bioship? Will you hear this? That is not of interest to you. You spin Just for story purposes, I'll let you see here. the rest of this. We give you the eddies. That is your one job. The rest is none of your concern. Understand. There All we right, go. I think we got everything. Boom. So now we know kind of who gave her the job. Another net runner. What do you think? The woman who hired Evelyn. Any idea who we're up against? Your guess is as good as mine. Sorry, V. Now we know what happened to Clouds. They're the ones who tried to flatline her. Launched a nuke at her ship. So it was punishment? For getting played by her? Yes. She knew more than they thought she knew. Couldn't let that go. Yeah. So that's who she was running from. Yep. It looks like Evelyn never told us the whole truth. You're telling me. If I'd known what she'd gotten herself into... <clears throat> I'm so mad at her. Her only job was to record a virtue. It's pretty damn amazing she managed to organize a full-blown heist. Determined women. And swipe the biochip from under her boss's noses. Well, she never. So that's where you came in. She hired you. And brought this all on herself. On you two. There's one more recording. Wanna see it? Yeah. Sure, why not? Nothing can surprise me at this point.
Right, straight away. Uh, where's editing mode? What language is she speaking? I don't know. Haitian Creole? It is the voodoo boys. I didn't I... Wait, let me see if I've got an auto-translator. Meantime, you try to tune into the phone's frequency. See what the other side's saying. Got it. Give it a second. Heard her mention Yorinobu. Probably why Evelyn buried this recording deep. Caught another name. Something like... Silverhand? We have to know what they're saying. It could be important. Fine. Just found the auto-translate package. Should get along fine with your system. I'll install it now. Oui, oui, allez. Vous avez bien raison, mon zé, tout intelligent pour ça, pour te y bien. Ou pas, c'est mon zé, la fin de problème. Mon zé, pas enragé. En plus, c'est plus bon moyen de nous gagner pour nous arriver sur yon au bout. Faut que nous prenions chance là. Moi, t'as même quoi, même j'avais au. Qui s'il y a un appel de nous tirer sous halte. What's this sound that I'm meant to be hearing? Okay, Judy, we're good. All right, disconnecting. I don't get it. What's this have to do with Johnny Silverhand? He died, like, forever ago. V, you got any idea? Yeah. A biochip we stole. It's, uh... It's got Silverhand's engram burned onto it. Engram? Digitized psyche. Personality construct. Indeed. Can you give me a minute? I need to go over some stuff. In my head. Uh, um, of course. That didn't sound weird at all. <clears throat> know who they are? Who the woman is? Any idea how we find them? Fuck, V. I've been dead the last half century. Sorry if I'm unable to hand you all the answers on a chrome fucking platter when you snap your fingers. These people, what could they want from Alt? How the hell should I know? Got no notion whatsoever? One way or another, everything leads back to that Netrunner. Finding her is our biggest priority. If she knows as much as I think she knows about the chip, she can help us out. Thought you said nothing could help us. Nah, just find us that juju wirehead, okay? All right. Sorry, Judy, I was rather rude Wait, there. You got any idea how to get in touch with the Voodoo Boys? I'll ask around, make a few calls. Let me put it this way. The Voodoo Boys wouldn't trust a cat if it walked onto their turf. But someone's got to know a way in. Well, good luck. I hope you won't need it. Oh, but I will. Thanks, Judy. No, V. I'm getting this a tribute point now. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? What do we go for? Body. And... Trying to think where I really want to put these, but I really do want to put the points in here though. Increase my attack speed and then I get finishers, which is the cool bit. Thank you. You're a... You're a good person. Evelyn could never see what was under people's skin. If she could have gotten to know you a bit better, then... Who knows? Things might have turned out differently. Thanks, Judy, for the character assessment. Right, here we go. Now, let me see... Let's just follow this line. V is calling. Ergo, V as well. 
Need to make contact with the Voodoo Boy's chief, if you can swing it. Ah, straight to biz. Ultra heavy variety. The Voodoo Boys, led by one Maman Brigitte. It's no easy feat getting an audience with her. Really not doing biz with the Voodoos? Surprised? I strive to avoid risking my dealings. They pose much of it. Still, feelers I can't extend. No harm in asking around. I just need information from you. A springboard, if you will. Let's say there's something I got that they want. You've got something for the VDBs. Trust me. They don't want it. They don't need it. An insular bunch all around. Tech, networks, what you will. All in-house. But if you insist... I do. I'll poke around. In the event of a twitch, you'll hear from me. Excellent. So, keep busy until Mr. Hans calls back. So what we can do is switch this out to down on the streets and meet Takamura. Let's get the bike and let's get moving. Didn't really want to open my stash there. I don't know why it did that. Here we go. Get ready for my crazy driving again. Did not just drift into that car. Don't know what you're talking about. So yeah, if we go do Takamura stuff, that'll give the Mr. Han I think the, to be honest, the Mr. Hans things dialed into a, a like a trigger point. I think I have to What the fuck? Oh, nice. How dare you abide? Oh. Yeah. Next. End him. That'll do it. There we go. That wasn't much of a fight for you to see, but still, it's something. Here's me carrying everything that I pick up as well. Is your gun broken? Yes. I'll have the points though. Nice. All I wanted to do was follow the path that my bike was telling me, which is this way. I think if I had just buzzed through, they wouldn't have bothered me, but they were there. They were big headed. I fancied having a go. I think they were claws as well, so. Not really that fussed about icing a few gangsters. This seems a long way to go for a shortcut. I go this way. Oh, yeah, it makes sense because it's down on the riverfront. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was daft. I know where I'm going now. Where is. How to complete human nature? What on earth is human nature? Okay.
Takamura stuff will keep us busy until Mr. Hands it's phones back. See you, Seems pretty uh secluded here. It is appropriate for such a secret meeting. It is indeed, Taka. What the hell happened? We're close to awful. You see a man robbed of his implants, money and dignity. Look well. It is not all bad. I am mostly unnoticed in the streets. Taka had state-of-the-art Arasaka implants that made him a formidable fighter. The problem is they've switched them off. If you play the corpo path, you start off as a corpo with a similar sort of level of implants. And once you meet Jackie, they come and switch off your implants because you fucked up. So if you have implants put in you by a corporation, they basically own your ass. Um, and so now Arasaka have switched off Takamura's implants. That doesn't mean he can't still fight. He can, but it just means that a lot of the enhancements and augments that he had don't work anymore. Friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's? From the carrier at anchor in the bay. Saburo's daughter. Yep. Yes, and if he believes you, we'll next meet with her. Sure you can trust him? Yes. <laughs> Convincing. Very. I have nothing to lose. Is that better? Worse. Because I got plenty to lose. Yep, we do. By God, huh? A good sign. He is usually camouflaged. Yeah, he has the fancy uh, underskin stealth enhancement. I could get that, but there's no point because I'm not playing as a stealth character. I'm not willing to sacrifice all the subdermal armor that I've got. But you can get optical camo for putting in one of your um, slots for like your, where your subdermal uh, armor goes. That's what this dude has. That's what uh, makes some of the enemies I've been fighting disappear. Takemura-san. Oda. Is this him? Your thief. He's my witness, V. Can't speak for myself, you know. So speak. I have been told you know things. Was there. Saw what happened. Yorinobu strangled the old guy. Silence! Not one word more. You will bring death to your door. But it is the truth. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe in this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama, most certainly. I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about the silly parade? Fool! Correct. Unlike you, I have not yet failed to keep my oath to do But you can't duty. ignore the truth. You will regret those words. The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. I do you a favor now by not cutting it off and taking it straight to Yorinobu Sama. We're just gonna what let that would go. What you do now? Were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to Yorinobu Sama. Consider oh, yourself right. Not like we're asking for a whole lot here. Just one brief meeting. Hanako should decide if what we say is true. You can't decide for her. Will you help? I will not. But I will let you leave this place, this city, unharmed. If I see either of you again, I will not be so lenient. Be very careful, my friend. We are all so far from home. That was a threat as well. Good fucking riddance. One hour soccer whack job is already plenty. Well... 
Can't say we didn't try. We tried, yes, and obtained something useful. Hmm, how do you figure that? What Oda said. They returned to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see the parade? It is our chance, perhaps. If, somehow, we can get to Hanako-sama, we must do a proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japan town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? No, just a fixer dame. Wakaku Akada runs a pachinko parlor on Jigjig -Jig Street. We must pay this woman a visit. Will you join me? Sure, why not? We've not got anything else on. I'm just doing this in the order that it comes to me, so... This is good fun. JJ Street. What is this name? <laughs> just a night city name. Beware, you mock me too often. You all right, Goro? Yes. Why the sudden concern? I'm just asking. Does everything with you have to have an ulterior motive? I apologize. That came off wrong. I am... I am simply not used to such questions. People like me, either we are doing well, or we are in a grave. Any idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only what I can surmise from what I see on TV. Yorinobu and his puppets grin at the cameras and insist that everything is under control. But the no wider lion. the smile, the bigger the lies. Yeah, exactly. Don't know... If this, there we go. If I was going to say, I don't know if this is going to skip ahead, but it has. Because we weren't that far from Jig Jig Street, to be fair. We're already in Japan Town. Oh, Goro, you'll love this place. This is right up your street. Goro keeping up with me. Hey, you're looking for some company? No, I'm not. But I'm really not. Big bodyguard. Rogue, my sweet. This has got to be a misunderstanding. I've no idea who jumped your team, but the claws? No, never. My boys know their place. I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. V, so nice to see you. And your charming friend is? Happen to be working together, that's all. Takemura Goro des. Okada san, oai dekite kohei des. Ah, a true gentleman. Ah, shame only that he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers. And you, V, bring him to my door. Give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. Eddie's is why. Always about Eddie's, Wakako. You want to make them? We got biz. Doesn't get any simpler. So tell me, and mark well I still have my phone at hand. 
Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japantown. So it's Arasaka again. Yep. What did you think it was? I've literally brought what Arasaka's I fail to most wanted. Understand is, why come to me? Did Mr. Deshawn not come to the phone? Come on, got your finger on the hood's pulse. Know everything. Parade honoring Saburo Arasaka? You're prepping in some way, no doubt. Won't see me dressed in mourning. Iwanante. But the rest is true. Everything's on the shards. How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. Clearly. My gift to you, it's free. Okada-san, what is free often proves most costly. Gonna take them or not? Japan Town. Whole district is to be sealed off for the parade. So no getting in or out. The main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. Okay. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka, the guest of honor, will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expect it to be tight. Our last parade? Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner, one at least. Brilliant. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point, here. It's an old automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. Oh, we can use At that too. At the end, the floats will float out of Japan Town, and we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. That's it. It's all I have. It must be enough. Then go. Be on your way. Thanks, Wukako. We appreciate this, Okada-san. Hmm, fixers don't usually give stuff away for free. What's Wakako's angle? Because right now she's not making any money out of this. A delightful, mature woman. This information, it could be just what we need. But I will try to investigate further. I will stay here some time and call some associates. The moment I learn something new, I will let you know. Stay safe, Goro. You as well. Until next time. So that just leaves me Ghost Town. Which... Uh, yeah, well, I mean, we've got time to go and at least start the mission. We're only at 28 minutes. I really don't want to do an episode that short, so... Let's head to the afterlife and go and see one of the ghosts from Johnny's past. I think the name of this ghost town has more than one meaning, like a lot of things. Uh, there's, there's a lot of depth to Night City. Afterlife itself could be considered a ghost town since the ghosts of the old legends are worshipped here. Morgan Blackhand, Johnny Silverhand, all these guys, Ray Rash Bartmos, all of these guys. But also it has connotations for the mission that we're about to do as well. And I'll show you, I'll point that out when we get there. I told you, dog. Afterlife's all about hey. rest. In you go. Command. Batch don't mean a thing here. Doors are shut to us. That is that. Oh. V, it's your lucky day. If you're serious about making headway in Pacifica, that is. Work some magic for me? As I said, whatever you're offering, the V-Boys could not, I quote, 
give a shit. Hey, hey. You kept your receipt of trust. Yet a counteroffer was forthcoming. A gig. Successful completion thereof could earn you an audience with Brigitte. Okay, so who do I contact next? Church, Sloan Lane. Inside by the altar. They'll know to look for you. Got it. Thanks, Hans. Right. This is the guy we rescued. Has the arm holding up? Ah, oh, V, such a tender soul you are. Come on, Tiny. I'm being serious. Well, after paying you and Regina your due, I still had Eddie's in the bank for this bad boy. So yeah, I'd say the arm's fine. If you ever need help with something, just give me a holler. Let's not get too cocky, all right? You did Regina and I both a favor. It's not like we're about to forget that anytime soon. The life of a merc's got its ups and downs. Next time, it'll be me pulling you out of some colossal fuck up. Probably. So long as I got the eddies on me, am I right? <laughs> Ain't wrong. Sound guy. That song you hear in the background there, chipping in, that's one of Samurai's biggest hits. No. This trouble? The net around me? You wove it. You know it. I lost everything. Let me be you. plain. Again. Solve your own problems. Clean up you your own what, shit. Rope? Go fuck yourself. Be careful who you bargain with. Rogue. Wanted to talk. It's okay. This is... Hmm. Not here. Not there. Who are you? Name's V. And what is it you want, V? All these years, it's really her. Fucking bro, just kicking it back on a couch at the afterlife. Don't mess with her, she's got MRI. See right through you. Give her the truth. Need your services. Gotta track a guy down. Mm-hmm. Anders Hellman. Hotshot engineer. Worked for Arasaka. Millisec. Anders Hellman. Pinpoint him for me? <laughs> she just called someone. Thanks. Jump in too soon. First, my help's got a price. Second and third, Dexter Deshawn, Jackie Wells, T-Bug. Multiple bells ringing, V. Left a lot of bodies behind. Death walks in your wake. Chalk that up to bad luck? There's the bitch I know. Ask her about Sokka Tower. How they shot me up right in front of her. They knew the risks. All sorts of shit happens. To all sorts of people. Even to the best. To you too, Rogue. Our Sokka Tower, remember? Who'd you lose back then? Johnny something... Ah. You came prepped. <laughs> of course. Anyways, feelings be damned, I've always said. This is pure biz. You need my help, so get those eddies ready. Mm -hmm. See? Should be enough. Nice. Mm -hmm. Come back tomorrow. We'll talk. So, let's go do Mr. Hans. Hey, hey, come here. Let's. Well, I've already yeah, talked to him. Hang on just a little longer, Joe. Is he wanting me to sit down way. at this seat? Right, okay. We were talking about... Done. Cleared your head. Hey, hey, come here, let's talk. You ever need help with something? Just I didn't mean to do that. Let's not get too cocky, all right? You did Regina and I both a favor. I can't skip this like ahead. To forget that anytime soon. The life of a merc's got its ups and downs. Next time I'm sorry you guys are having to read this all again. So long as I got the eddies on me, am I right? <laughs> Ain't wrong. It's not giving me the set option. Oh, there we go. Sure, but tongue's feeling a bit stiff. Toss one back first. With you, anytime. Boom. Here we go. That was it. That was worth it. Right. 
We are heading out and what I'll do since everything's on a time delay now, I will take us to do Map Dan Pelen in the next episode. Might as well do that now since we've got a location to go to. So, you guys chill between now and then. I will catch you again on the main streets of Night City. Until then, take care and bye for now.